So 100 miles an hour on two gallons an hour on a yeah. really awesome looking airplane. Thank you. Yeah. Well, this project's been very, you know, kept under wraps for... We have pictures at our booth of the factory. Okay. Several people thought they were AI generated because they couldn't believe what was sitting there. But yeah, we've got, I think it's between 20 and 25 fuselages. It's a super fun airplane to fly, very nimble. Uh, it, uh, it looks as good as it flies. We're at Oshkosh 2025. I'm over in the ultralight area and I noticed this actually the other night when we were here watching the Stoll demo and I had to come back and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be interested in hearing more about this. Number one about this, the wings foam. That right there is what got me and then obviously the whole thing looks amazing. So um, let's get right to it. Yeah, I'm Dane Wood. Uh, we're with Spirit Engineering. We're out of uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, uh, and we flew four of these here. Okay. Uh, left Thursday morning, got here Friday, uh, early afternoon. Wow. Um, and this is the Spirit SE1. Okay. Is what we're calling it. We're crowdsourcing a name. There's fish bowls to name both the engine and uh, the airframe. Okay. Or the airplane uh, in our booth in booth 218. We're just north of Hangar D. How long have you been working on this particular, um, I guess, design? You have one design, it's, right? Yeah. Yep. We have one design. It's been in development for. A, Quite a number of years. I won't say exactly how many. Okay. Uh, and we, the original plan was to use uh, a different engine and convert it for use on this uh, airframe. And then um, we pretty much got to a point where we decided to uh, develop our own engine, and so that's been oh. under in development for quite a while. And that's also on display at the booth over there. And okay. We've got several um, employees there who can answer all the fun technical questions. Awesome. So, that's yeah. awesome. So what kind of horsepower and obviously you've flown this. This is a real airplane. This is not a concept. I've, I have flown this, uh, yeah, a handful of, handful of times. Um, I actually flew a 180 here as kind of the support plane for the, the okay. pilots who flew this here. It's 42, 42 horsepower. Okay. Uh, burns about two gallons an hour uh, at cruise. It's got an eight gallon tank. Uh, cruise 100 miles an hour. Yeah. 100 miles an hour, is yeah. that what you said? Yeah, yeah. That was my yeah. next question. Yeah. So 100 miles an hour on two gallons an hour on a yeah. really awesome looking airplane. Thank you. Yeah, we're. it's really exciting to be here. And you know, this project's been very, you know, kept under wraps for a lot of years. And so it's been really fun to be here and get the public's reaction. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. Cool. So. So this is, I guess uh, I have two more questions here. Yeah. One is, this a kit that someone's going to be able to purchase himself or would it be a factory assist? This is, uh, this is a factory built plane. Uh, oh. And we have pictures at our booth of the factory. Okay. Several people thought they were AI generated because they couldn't believe what was sitting there. But yeah, we've got, I think it's between 20 and 25 fuselages assembled and ready to go. And wow. so we're, um, I think we're saying on the website we're looking at a three to six week turn time on order to, to order to delivery starting fall 2025. Starting fall 2025. Okay. As so, in? Yeah, this year. Now. Yeah, like, yeah, in yeah. a few months here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So exactly. here in a few so. months, you basically in a, in a few oh, months, know, within a couple months, you can actually know, have one of these. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's 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 exciting. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I, I'm learning this out all like as you are right now. Um, at least in real time anyways, however yeah. you want it, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, um, yeah this is uh, pretty amazing. So what would be the, I guess my last question, how slow, obviously you know uh, what, how this handles, You've, it's been flown. Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce speed do you guys see? 45. 45 yeah. miles an hour? Miles an hour. Yeah. Miles an hour, yeah. okay. All right, we're at Oshkosh 2025, walking around, actually noticed this down at the ultralight field. We came up to get more information about in particular this engine and uh, this is super exciting and so you want to keep watching for this so uh, if you want to introduce yourself and what do we got in front of us uh, my name is Tim Feather uh, I'm one of the engineers here at uh, Spirit Engineering uh, and we designed this little engine to fit on our uh, Spirit uh, aircraft that we're debuting here at Oshkosh uh, this is a, uh, a V2 two-cylinder engine inverted uh, V direct drive um, 
uh, electronic ignition, uh, carbureted engine, uh, generating about 42 horsepower at 3,000 RPM, and uh, it flies our airplane about 100 miles an hour. It was designed specifically for the uh, aircraft, kind of a bottom-up design. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of uh, inspirational things in it, but uh, it's pretty much a brand new engine. In the, okay. In the so, a couple questions about this engine, and if you have any questions yourself as a viewer, definitely drop those below, because uh, maybe it's something I haven't thought of that we should both find out. Um, so you mentioned this is a electronic ignition yes. setup. Um, what are we seeing here on the back as far as this uh, ring gear with some like electrical? What, what, what we got going on here? Like, this, uh, uh, yeah, this is our flywheel. It uh, it actually is a multi-purpose uh, flywheel. Uh, mm -hmm. It holds the ring gear for the starter. Yeah. Um, it holds a trigger magnet for the ignition system. Okay. So this is a uh, uh, this is what's called an MDI system. It's a magnetic discharge ignition system. Okay. Um, basically, what it does is it triggers uh, the magnet triggers the uh, ignition module every time it goes by. Uh, we have this uh, a, a program in the MDI that uh, allows the uh, uh, the ignition module to uh, retard the spark at lower RPMs. So it's okay. a little bit more efficient than a standard uh, CDI, which is a capacitive discharge ignition, uh, okay. where the CDI hits the same uh, spark timing at any RPM. Mm -hmm. So this engine is adjusting uh, for uh, RPM. So when we're running at cruise, we're running at a little bit uh, less than maximum RPM. Mm -hmm. It's running at an optimal uh, spark timing. Okay. Uh, okay. Then it also has a, uh, a stator back here which is connected to a voltage regulator on the flywall mm -hmm. and that's what's powering all of our engine instrumentation uh, okay. recharging the battery and giving the airplane the electricity that okay. it needs yeah so you got your built-in alternator ignition system ring gear combo essentially yes it's all yep. all multi-purpose on this uh on this back flywheel okay and you said it was 42 horsepower it's 42 roughly. horsepower yep and what kind of tbo are you expecting uh, i think i heard I guess you don't really know yet. You're just kind of putting more and more time on the. Engine yeah, right now. the ASTM standards allow us to run an accelerated uh, endurance test. Okay. And currently, that accelerated endurance test is running back in Grand Junction. Um, okay. For the uh, for the three airplanes that we had uh, certified LSLSA before or SLSA before we came up here, uh, they're at uh, they're at 720 hours on the t on the TBO. Okay. Um, but we uh, the the uh, the wear that we measured was very minimal at that at the last teardown on that. Yeah. So we're hoping we're going to get up there. You know, we're pretty confident we're going to get up to 1500 and hopefully even higher than that. Yeah, awesome. Phil, back here, you you have some experience flying in one of these birds, right? So how how is it to fly? Yeah, uh, what I always say is it's uh, it it's a super fun airplane to fly. Very nimble. Uh, it uh, it looks as good as it flies. Yeah. So yeah, looks cool. Flies even better. Yeah, that's awesome. And one thing for me is the folding wing, which I know a lot of people are attracted to, which is awesome. You guys incorporated that in this design because it obviously makes it uh, easy to store and take across the country. You know, like I live in the east side, we're up Midwest, they call it, but really the eastern part of the United States and to go out to Utah or somewhere that you want to see something that's more interesting, then uh, you don't have to wear out the weather, you know? Put it on trailer, go out and spend your time. All right, real quick, I want you to let me know in the comments what you think they have out here at Oshkosh. Help them name their engine. So name our airplane, name our engine. Wow, I didn't realize that was on there, honestly. I thought it was just the engine. So let me know what you think a good name for this Spirit 42 horsepower engine is or the pretty snazzy looking low wing aircraft. Very interesting to see what you put below in the comments and I will chime in as well, so appreciate it. Where can people go to find more information? We uh, launched our website for this uh, airplane Sunday uh, before Oshkosh, yeah. uh, spiriteng.com. Yeah. That's gonna have all the specifics on the airplane. Uh, it's going to have some cool pictures and some cool videos, and it's going to have a contact uh, contact us uh, page on it that you can uh, send us an email uh, if you need more information or you want to buy one. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Well, again, please ask your questions below because I know you got questions. I'm going to probably have more later, but I'm really excited what they're doing here, and 
perhaps someday I can maybe get one of these uh, one of these setups. So until next time, you guys stay safe, be blessed. I will see you in the next one. Later.